Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video along with LR Jiren. God Topo got his EZA over on Global Dokkan. God Topo is a ridiculously powerful EZA. Um, you know, he's got a decent link set for the units you're going to want to use him with. He has a powerful support ability which now gives key. He has decent attack and defense. Then he also has a good uh, damage reduction ability for difficult events. Now, I will say that... It's one of these things that I think has definitely aged a little bit, the sort of like damage reduction ability that he has based upon HP, right? Like it's the same ability that Android 17 has. It does make them both pretty viable for difficult events, but you know, you still could do a bit better. I will say this though, like let's look at God Topo. So this is a rotation with no support. So we have God Topo and then LR Jiren and then, you know, the regular STR Jiren. So God Topo himself is getting no support type buffs right here. And he's putting up some pretty decent stats. Like, 130k defense, basically, is really good. Um, and then as far as the links he has active here. So, we have Supreme Warrior, Shocking Speed, Godly Power, Turn of Power, and Fierce Battle. So, a lot is being active for God Topo. So, let's go ahead and see what God Topo does turn one. Now, again, one more extra part in how good God Topo is. 1.94, okay. One very important part in how good God Topo is, is LR Jiren himself, his power. Remember that LR Jiren, that's, I think that's 55%, 5.21 turn one, by the way. But LR Jiren um, is super effective against all types if the enemy has uh, attack down or defensive down applied to them. Well, God Topo has what is normally a worthless ability. Uh, God Topo just passively lowers all enemies defense by 70%. Again, for the most part, I would say the ability that ability sucks. It, it's going to do nothing for you, right? But when you're talking about using him with God Topo, all of a sudden that really does matter because, or uh, excuse me, when you're using with LR Jiren, right? Because LR Jiren, you know, pushing out these five, six million attack stats and shit like that. And then this man is also then super effective against all types. Like, it's going to get very ridiculous. Like, that's one way units that are super effective against all types. At, like, I feel like people just kind of are just like, yeah, yeah, they're super effective against all types, whatever. That really means a lot <laughs> when units are super effective against all types. It really does. Like, like it's not like LR Blue Gogeta is just so overwhelming when he transforms and stuff like that, right? Um, all right, so we don't get any extra links with our boy Dispo. We do have easy a dispo on rotation as well i'm gonna do a video a solo video for dispo uh soon sort of focusing on him as well um dispo's okay i i, I think they were actually a little bit light uh in the buffs that they gave dispo i'm not really too pleased with dispo again he's okay but he certainly could be a lot better um the other thing too about god topo by the way is he does give all allies a 30 percent attack buff on super now, I don't believe, again, when you see, like, 30%, it's like, whoa, 30%. It's not the same, I believe, like, 30% a unit would get on their passive. What is it? It gets added to, like, the, um, it's like the attack mul a multiplier or some shit like that. But that little 30% on God Topo Super Attack, it's not, like, a true, like, you know, passive support type 30% buff. So, definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, all right, so this LR Jiren right here should be able to put in some good work. Um, <clears throat> there, he's not even getting his 18 key super attack, though. That's, that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, does Castrol give key? I think Castrol gives a little bit of key. All right, so next turn, we're going to be able to have God Topo on rotation. Um, and then also, uh, getting the 50% support Kabe on rotation as well. Um, so Kabe, of course, you know, as the 50% super SCR support type unit, it's going to be able to buff God Topo a nice amount. Um, that's one of the big things about... Uh, Kabe being on the turn of power of the Universal Survival Saga cat category is there is a lot of really good Super STR units on there. So, you know, Kabe is, like, going to be really good even without, like, Kefla and stuff like that. So, all right. Now, his defense is at nearly 160k. Again, if you were below 70% HP to get that 40% damage reduction, God Topo defensively is going to be very, very effective. So, that's pretty good right there. Um, <clears throat> we'll probably get this attack set right here. Then I'll go to another team. The one thing I do really like is that we did get an attack set immediately with God Topo, where he did not have a support type unit. I always love getting those. All right, so 2.4. See, that's very good. <clears throat> God Topo doing 2.4 
while also giving 40% attack and defense to the rest of the rotation is big. That's really powerful, right? Usually units that have like, you know, like plus that, like, because God Topo came out in what? April 26th of 2018? He's closing in on three years old. He came out golden week that year, right? Like to be plus a 2 million attack stat, which is, you know, that's really where like good units start, I think nowadays. And then 40% attack and defense. And then he does give key. He only gives one key, but I'm telling y'all, just that one extra key added to his passive, which he did not have before his ZZA, is actually very, very helpful. All right, so we'll take a look at God Topo here on the final trump card real team real quick. Um, obviously, there's a lot of units who are going to work very decently with God Topo. You know, MVP Android 17, Piccolo. Remember that God Topo does have shocking speed, so he'll even work solidly with something like the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Um, hmm... I guess I'll just do this. We'll just put Piccolo in slot one, sort of do that, and then we can go ahead and super attack with God Topo. What's God Topo's? So we only have, what, Shocking Speed and Fierce Battle active on this rotation. Um, and then his defense is still above 100k, even on, you know, now at this point, we're on a 150% leader across the board. You know, we're not getting any other support from anything and very few links active. And God Topo still above 100k defense, which is solid, right? So again, you get that... Uh, the damage reduction ability of his active and you know he'll be able to cut down on damage by quite a bit for sure um and then he gets to a 1.39 million attack stats. that's not very good right there 1.39 but he is giving key and 40 percent attack and defense to the entire rotation at the same time right obviously that really does matter any like powerful support like that it, it, like you're just gonna get a lot of value out of that unit right like i i do like support type units that are sort of just like all encompassing like that and like nowadays you know getting support type units like something like a uh, topo or a supremo pie of time who not only are able to have a very strong uh support type ability to a lot of the rotation but then at the same time can also hold their own defensively is very good for something like super battle road stages or battlefield right where in there a lot of times you know the enemies can be very very powerful but if you're able to sort of like protect yourself and then also give the support to like your stronger characters, that's just something that's incredibly valuable, right? So, all right, on this rotation uh, with 17, we're now going to have what? Shocking speed. We have solid support, turn of power, and fierce battle. Um, so that's not bad. Let's see how much damage. So we're at what? 150k defense right there. Let's see how much damage we'll take from this Evolution Blue Vegeta. It's not going to be too much because remember this evolution blue vegeta did come out originally uh with god topo back in 2018 um so there's a super attack yeah it definitely does look much more clean after they went ahead and update oh three dodge <laughs> the three dodge kicking in it was at 1.64 again not the craziest 1.64 but i mean when we also consider what he's doing for the rest of the rotation it's definitely passable but I mean, you know, nowadays there's just so many ridiculously, brutally, godly OP units that you see kind of a lower attack set like that, and it's like, eh, okay. Also, I'm looking at this sprite for Evolution Blue Vegeta, and it's not that great. It's really just a recolor of the normal Blue Vegeta. Like, they gotta give Evolution Blue Vegeta a really nice-looking new sprite for the 60th anniversary, and I definitely think they're going to, too. That is gonna be really sick to see. All right, so now we're over here on the Realm of Gods team. We'll just kind of see what Topo is able to do without jeering around. Now, again, one reason Topo is going to be so good is that he is on a lot of category teams and a lot of good category teams, too. I'm talking Universal Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, Final Trump Card, Space Traveling Warriors. Like, those are amazing teams. And God Topo being a universal support, all allies, one key, 40% attack and defense. And he's got a good link set for a lot of the characters you're probably going to be using with him, right? Like, a lot of the Realm of Gods characters are going to have godly power, shocking speed, turn up power, or fierce battle, right? Like, you know, God Topo and Beerus, you know, they share what? Shocking speed, fierce battle, and godly power. Like, you know, that's a, that's a decent little start right there. Then, of course, with Vados, uh, we also have what? Uh, shocking speed, solid support, godly power, and fierce battle. So let's see what Topo does right here. Uh, now, Vados isn't giving him the most insane support type buff ever. She's only giving, what, 20% of 
uh, attack and defense, I believe, to God Topo. Because remember, Vados gives, what, 20% for every one of those uh, the categories you're on that she shares. Two mil right there. But look at that. I mean, it's pretty common that we're going to see God Topo probably be in, like, the 1.5 to 2 million range. Um, while also giving the rest of the rotation, again, like, 40% attack and defense. Uh, he's good. God Topo is definitely a very, very strong unit. Uh, I don't know where I would rank him among, like, the top EZAs in the game or something like that. But I, I do think he is very good. Um, God Topo is definitely looking uh, pretty damn strong, that's for sure. So, all right, we'll, we'll probably just get, like, one more attack set or something like that. Because it, it is kind of difficult with God, right? God Topo is just a, uh, like, a support type unit for the most part, right? So, it's hard to, like, really just be like, oh, here he is doing this 60 million attack stat. And then, oh, he's dodging 60 attacks in a row. Ah! You know, it's like, God Topo is just, like, like very, very strong, very solid giving good support to the rest of the rotation, right? Like, you know, people sort of should understand that, right? So, all right, we'll we'll um, we'll get one more attack set with our boy, and then again, we will probably finish up. Uh, again, some of his defensive stats we're seeing from him are very solid. Some of his attack stats we see from him are very solid. Just overall, a, a, a fairly competent unit, I would say. Here he's at 170k defense, pretty good. You know, getting to numbers like that, the only thing is, like, if they, if God Topo, like, if they wanted to make him truly insane, they would have just given him, like, the 40% damage reduction for free. He would have been, like, God at that point. Like, that would have been beyond belief. But he's already super, super good, right? So, um, I guess let me know what you guys think of God Topo. Um, and let's go ahead and move into his info. All right, guys. So, there we have it. Our boy, God Topo. Again, God Topo is a very, very powerful unit. I think a, just an all-purpose support type unit like this is very strong. He's got the nice damage reduction, so that could make him fairly decent in, like, difficult events, right? So, like, you know, if you go into, like, the Universal Survival Saga Super Battle Road stage, for example, and, like, maybe he's on turn two, turn one, he'll take a little bit of damage, and then in turn two, he'll be really strong defensively, right? Because he's going to have decent defense north of 100k, right? Very likely. Uh, at least, you know, at Rainbow, maybe close to full level 10 links or something like that. And then once that damage reduction kicks in, he's going to be very powerful because... That 40% damage reduction by itself is not great, but when you're getting defense, again, higher than 100k, you're going to be able to really hold your own in a lot of these events. So, again, God Topo is pretty damn good. Um, I would definitely make sure you guys get the EZA done. Don't mind putting resources into God Topo. I think he's very strong. And then, obviously, some of these teams over on JP, like Universal Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, probably Final Trump Card, are about to get massively buffed with the six year anniversary. So we will see very soon. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all next time.